Hey everybody, uh, Clever Thang has uh, chosen challenge number 30. And number 30 is something I like to call a long walk off a short pier. I hope you enjoy. We're at the river. The big problem is we don't know this body of water very well, actually at all. And uh, we don't know what kind of current there is here. Um, I can see I can see like to the bottom just out here, but any further than that I have no idea how deep it is. Or what's under or what's under there. So sorry to disappoint. And I was gonna do this shoes on and socks on and everything, but I don't think that's a good idea not knowing what's under me or what the current's like. I'm gonna set the camera up on the tripod and uh, I guess we're gonna film this. Okay guys. My whinging has won, thanks Paul. Randy will not be jumping off of this because I personally think it's too dangerous as we do not know what is below. It's a pretty big jump. We don't know the current or what's underneath. I'm, this water is freezing and I'm gonna just jump in. It's so, it, it is cold, my feet are numb. Uh, so I'm going to try and navigate my way across the slimy rocks that I'm on and uh, get out to where there's no rocks and I'll just like, I'll get out of there, but it, I gotta get out of here quick because it's freaking freezing. We will laugh if you slip though, because that would be funny. And there's a good chance that I am going to slip. Uh, uh, it just turtled. <laughs> Would you consider that a winch? That's a winch. And that? Okay, under and out. That's it. When I get out, you gotta go to the bin. Quick. Okay, go under quick. Still numb. It's like they're uh, swollen. Where are those black things? Stuff from walking through the grass to get back up. The outcome of uh, Randy's little uh, okay, I gotta hurry up. thing, venture. I gotta hurry up. Well, honey. Well, what? How was that? Uh, painful. Beside your foot. Painful. Yeah? Yeah. Off. It was so cold. Like I didn't, I, I knew that I hurt myself, but I didn't think I cut myself. My foot was, my, my legs to my knees were pretty much numb. And well, as soon I'm as my, like when my chest got underwater, I just, I couldn't breathe anymore. And I was like, that's I was, why I was like, hurry up and just go under. That's why I was saying under and out. Like, I, there was nothing, I couldn't do anything. I'm just glad you didn't jump in. I probably wouldn't have cut myself as bad as I did if I just jumped in. Yeah, well, you could be uh, dead or in a wheelchair by now. So yeah, good job though. Yeah. Takes balls. Well, that, I think that was uh, by far the dumbest thing I've done. Yep. I think I would prefer to eat uh, habanero paste again or uh, wax my other leg than to uh, do that again. That was uh, quite painful after the uh, shock of the cold uh, came out.
So, as much fun as it was uh, being in the water, <laughs> not. I don't think I'll be doing that one again. Not that at that place anyway. I have no problem doing it in a body of water that I'm familiar with, uh, just because uh, there's less of a less of a chance of me getting hurt. <clears throat> I was stressing. Bobby was freaking out after it happened in the van. The wee man was uh, almost in tears, worried that I was going to have to go get stitches and stuff. Um, it is a pretty gnarly looking cut, though. It's uh, yeah, it's not pretty. Tara, I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, number 12 is probably going to have to wait a little while. Next weekend, I will do number 12 for you. I promise. Yeah, provided there's no football games. I will find a way to do number 12 for you, whether I have to uh, go to the primary school and figure out how long the, uh, the track would be, go there. Uh, if I have to go to another town that has a track. But I will definitely work on getting number 12 done as soon as possible. This is just another setback. Freaking football, foot cut, what else can go? So make sure that you guys are uh, posting your suggestions for topics because tomorrow is Topic Tuesday. And uh, I haven't had any topics suggested as of yet. 